Greetings, Flesh Wound Horror Freaks, and welcome to Flesh Wound Horror. I am Flesh Wound Dan, joined by the top executive producer, Tad Loya. How are you? Every time he says my last, it's like, what are you doing? Daniel Shine, motherfucker. <laughs> Tad, they know we're degenerates. And Pugs Dread. Namaste. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. Uh, who... who does not use his real name, so there you go. He's he's in gimmick. Oh, are we doing this? Are we I'm not using my slave name, Dan. That's what I'm doing. Uh, uh, so we are here tonight to talk about Reaper Films and Gator Blade Films production uh, from writer director Christopher Leto, Psycho Science. Tad, there holding up the Blu-ray. Yeah. Uh, so in Psycho Top Science, executive producer Todd holding up the Blu-ray. Come on, yeah. There you go. Top executive uh, producer. It's one of the um, reasons this movie exists. It's a big top, deal. Thank you. Top executive producer. It's right there. <laughs> he held all the uh, the cast hostage and made them work double time to make this happen. So <laughs> There we go. So he gets there you done. Been, Good job, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> there might have been some plants violated. I don't know. It's all just rumors. <laughs> so on that note, in Psychoscience, Mandy and Candy, two disenchanted girls fed up with the dating scene, find hope when their brilliant friend Simon unveils a groundbreaking invention. Simon's creation has the power to materialize anything from pictures alone. Intrigued, the trio decides to use the invention to craft their ideal man, setting off a chain of unpredictable events. Reminiscent of the nostalgic 80s classic Weird Science, blended with elements of horror, comedy, and a dash of slasher flair, Psycho Science promises an uproarious and chilling roller coaster that will captivate fans of multiple genres. All right. So, hot tag. Who wants to talk about psycho science first? Um, I'll talk about it a little bit, I guess, since Todd's too close to the project. <laughs> I like how Dan does this without like talking to anyone first. Like, I'm going to throw it to someone else first. Fuck y'all. Which one's getting? I'm not going to always be the opening match. Todd. Well, guess... Dan, you need to fucking talk to us before the show starts. Then, like, I'm hey, going main... to go first. You. All right, I'll be opening match, and you won't be able to follow me, Todd. All right, I wasn't trying to steal your thunder. But that's fine. I'll go first. Uh, so, all right. So, this is a co production of Reaper <laughs> and Gator Blade films. I did volunteer. And... <laughs> I go for it. I know. Oh, I, okay. Dan, Dan, said, Dan said, fuck no, you, no, bugs. No. That's fine. Go for it, Dan. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll get right into it. Uh, uh, so. So I wasn't too sure what to expect with this one. Again, it's kind of like that co-production Reaper and Gator Blade. So two different sti- two different styles. Um, I will say going into this, if you're expecting uh, debauchery on the level of the death, death squirt service films or or chaos or uh, some of those like really, really hard chaos ones, a- that's chaos not AD, this not type chaos. of movie. And I was like, chaos, chaos AD. Chaos. Yeah, big or chaos for that matter. You're not getting Damn. that in this. Uh, this is uh, a little bit on the lighter side, uh, which is not a bad thing. If you're uh, if you're course. familiar with the Reaper stuff that that's coming out, this is this is on tone. So that's why yes. I made sure to warn that it this wasn't like uh, yeah. Don't expect death scored surface levels of no. no. That, no. Yeah. But Jessa Flux does come through and as do a, another couple girls. So it's still in there. It's just not, you know, like I said, not as hard as those other movies, which may be a good thing uh, for some of you. More plot uh, driven than the other films. We'll go. With that. Yes. Uh, it kind of kicks things off. It's got that uh, weird science uh, feel with the music. And um, I enjoyed our two leads. Uh, although this movie, it's interesting because we kind of, segue off of our two leads uh candy and mandy at one point and follow this other group uh that that are out partying uh but uh not your group (laughs) more yeah the more fun group uh not your typical uh actresses that you would see in this uh i like them though uh i think uh ariella agan Hopefully I'm saying her name right. His candy was very good. Um, and uh, I, I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed both of them. Uh, but they didn't, you know, they didn't have that kind of 
you know, Fred Olin Ray. And Kendra. Jim, <laughs> they're not Barbie and Kendra. They they don't they're not like your typical like Linnea Quigley, uh, Michelle Bauer type. They kind of play it a little more straight, which is is you know for this type of movie, which is fine. Uh, I did uh, enjoy the line when they they realized that they uploaded an image of a serial killer, and he's like, <laughs> I don't think he's a killer except for killing this pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was pretty yeah. funny. So even though they're not your typical scream queens, I I do think they delivered. Um, it's, and... it's, is it weird to say that they felt more like a real girl, like like real women? That's kind of what I'm. Alive? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'm going with. Like, yeah, they. It, other than what they felt like real people. Really. They, you yeah. know, like I've said, like the SOV spiritual sequel is like the Florida scene, and it kind of has that feel. You you know, real people making these movies, and. And I, I, it is, it feels like a throwback to me of that SOV era. And I, I and I'm cool with that. I enjoy that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I thought like the sort of dating montage, like when she makes <laughs> that excuse, my dog's dead. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, thought that was, I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, that one dude that looks like Crispin Glover that uh, <laughs> for the blind date, I thought that was, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it, it takes, it takes its time getting into the, the slasher elements of the, of the story. I think it worked better for me, more the comedic bits than the actual like slasher portion. Same. Um, but it does what it's supposed to do for these, these sorts of B movies. And it, you know, it put a smile on my face and it made me remember, uh, the, the glory days of the eighties and nineties, um, it could have used a little bit of work on the the slasher portion of things, but but I did enjoy it. Um, I'm kind of with you though. It's like it's a shorter movie, and I think I would would have been more interested in seeing the Jessa Flux crew for the whole thing. But then I, again, I don't know they, how the blind they have sequel function. energy. Where you got to get more fun and more yeah. blood and more boobs. <laughs> I like the way we're kind of like two stories like we have that and then we're focusing on the the second group the, the more as you guys called them the more entertaining group to lead up to you know obviously them getting killed we got to introduce them mm -hmm. um so I, I was fine with that and then when we come back to our, our original girls and, and wrap up that portion i don't know i like the format i like the way they did it um i'm i might be biased but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I two of your favorite all time two of your favorite all-time movies uh combined as one Exactly. I, well, I will say I, I think they left a little bit of uh, psycho on the table. We could have had a little more of that, right. but yeah, the the buddy stuff between the girls was fine. Remember, it was fun. Uh, the the dude they created, not intimidating, not what I would picture as the. Uh, well, I guess not intimidating is a good thing because Norman Bates wasn't intimidating, but I, he should be a little. I should be a little nervous, just not I, just because. Yeah. I, I'm curious if they did it on purpose. This is a serious, this is a good question for the director. Did they purposely like to, to try to subliminally trigger trigger people for they they race change psycho and they gender swap weird science? Just <laughs> it just it didn't bother me, but I was like, huh. I wonder if that's gonna annoy. <laughs> I think they were going more for I a Dexter. Dexter. or or is that <laughs> just a coincidence? <laughs> and that's Dexter. I Dexter's think, laboratory. <laughs> I, I, we're I think they were that. going more of a Dexter vibe with the killer, where it's like he he wasn't as obvious. Um, I was kind of okay with that Versus again. Norman Bates, who's very obvious. Uh, no, yeah, Norman wasn't obvious less less obvious. Norman Bates definitely. Well, at least by today's standards, I would know there's something. He would wrong give a creep vibe, like not. And like, by today's not. standards, we're worried about you. Yeah. <laughs> but all of us. Norman oh, Bates put it on you, Dan. There you Norman go. Bates a little bit too eager to have sandwiches with you. So this this dude you probably would not expect. So I would I would guess that's probably the, the yeah. In the fifth, made. back in there, he just looked like a mama's boy. I think with Norman, eh, I think yeah. it's yeah. I think in the fifties, yeah. I agree. Yeah, uh, we get a I couple like, cool kills towards the end, though. But their uh, friend, the actual science guy, I liked him. Totally. I wish he was there more. He was funny. Yeah. Um, I liked his energy. Yeah. But yeah, I, I I do wish we spent more time with the fun crew, not hating on the girls, because actually that'd be the group I'd be with. Because like you want to stay home and watch a movie, 
Yeah. Fuck yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I don't need to go out anymore. Um, Maybe if they converged and just they had them together the whole time, you could have still kind of told that story at the beginning with the speed dating and yeah. somehow made that work. Like, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, my only right, does... though, is that Homeboy wasn't threatening when he needed to be. But it's fine. You have a dark-skinned dude with a knife. That's threatening enough, I guess. Dan's uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i am indeed i am indeed um but the the the, the proper just fun b movie feel is here um and i would also say not only weird science but i mean shocker a, as well i mean this is very much a shocker homage with the uh the execution and everything um and it's it's always a delight seeing Jessa Flux because she's she's got it down perfect for these types of films. Like she she knows she knows how to deliver a proper performance. Uh, she comes through as always with the skin, and uh, I I do think you will enjoy this. It's not among my favorite uh, films when it comes to the Reaper slash Gator Blade stuff. Um, well, but, if you're yeah, if you put them together, that's hard. You take just do Reaper. Yeah. I'm also a, de a degenerate, so obviously I yeah, favor. They're, they're the different. Death. I I, yeah. I get it though. Yeah, they're, but they're they're different. Um, yeah. I know Bombshell Butcher is the next one Reaper has coming up, which will probably also be co-production with you know. Um, yeah, I was gonna say Death Score with Gator Blade. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to rebrand their brand. <laughs> <laughs> Generally speaking, I love the Florida scene. Yeah. Uh, so I, I really... Even this. And even I know they're like, I think that the division, because with this streaming deal where you can stream this one, um, I think that we're going to have more, you know, more movie. Like this stuff will be more, you know, trying to make movies versus smut like we like, you know. So Yeah. Don't lose. Which them. I'm good with. <laughs> cool it was that. movies and smut. We're ready for it all. <laughs> and just uh, have Jessa in all of it. <laughs> uh, any favorite lines from this movie? Because I'm dying to give mine. Well, I, I <laughs> uh, dying to give Todd more editing work. Uh, bugs, no, I no, I will be clean this time. Because uh, <laughs> I'm glad they addressed <laughs> the situation of the black dude walking around that area, and they, he comes across some racist racist people. Which is are my type of favorite scenes. <laughs> I'm like, I get I, I get a lot of joy from this bullshit. The, I'm with the you. The fact that this ignorant motherfucker <laughs> is told he no said way. ignorant Dan ignorant <laughs> to walk back to Africa. <laughs> like, yeah, go back to Africa. No, that's not enough. That's right. Turn around. Walk back to Africa. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the other way. That was yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so good. I'm bumping up a half star just for that. <laughs> so yeah, please more of that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. My favorite. I'm gonna go with the moment and not a line on this one. I I did like the it's not a re it, it's one of the weaker kills in one ways, but it made me laugh. The uh tree decapitation. <laughs> I thought that was just kind of cool the way they did it. It was a clever kill. Um, the kills are there. Like I said, it just kind of comes very late in the game for a shorter movie like this, um, which, yeah. But I was entertained that it doesn't it doesn't overstay its welcome, which is a huge thing with any of these films. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought the ending I was nice. I, was, I didn't expect that ending. I yeah. thought we'd get something super... The opposite way. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Dan, what do you rate it? I give this one a three. All right. Pugs? Uh, with that racial interaction, I got to go four. <laughs> Out of five. I am, I, I'm also going to be good with my top... I mean, technically, you don't even have to take my rating. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, it's true, too. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm also a four. So cool. I, I had a good time with it. Sweet, Money sweet. spent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pitch Def Scort Service Four in space. Perhaps we could get make well, that happen. They got the box set coming um, soon. So 
Uh, yeah. Who's the box set coming from now? It's is it SRS now? Yes. Or it okay, SRS. SRS. Yes. All right. All right. So we'll yes. find out more as you know gets closer. So very cool. We we will report on it, and I'm sure we'll uh, we'll do a show on it at some point. Hey, All right, guys. Good reason to. <laughs> good reason to. All right, guys. Uh, be sure to check out our patreon.com slash flesh wound features for uncensored exclusive content also our free discord you'll never miss out on a a sale or there's a lot of food talk in there uh it's don't it's, forget it's check really... out the check out the uncensored version of this very episode on patreon <laughs> indeed indeed uh, and uh yeah a lot of good people on discord uh you'll have a blast i think we have one of the better discords I'm going to just say, like, my limited experience with Discord, I think ours is one of the coolest. So check that out and uh, and check out all our other content, our Flesh Wound After Dark content. Uh, we've got uh, we got some big shows coming up, so don't miss any of that. And that's all I got. Gentlemen, what say you? Is that your, was Walk that you throwing it to me? Africa. Well, I didn't know if you had anything to fucking pimp. Come again hard. Money's on the dresser. Get the fuck out. Walk back to Africa. I'll see you in Disneyland. <laughs>